Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched a month apart in late summer 1977. After many alarms and close calls, they successfully arrived months apart at the Jupiter system, where they worked brilliantly, providing the first close-up views of mighty Jupiter and its four large and mysterious moons. Io, the innermost of the four, Europa, and moving away from Jupiter, Ganymede, and the outermost big moon, Callisto. In a mission that cost a penny a world for every human on the planet Earth. Voyager's passage by Jupiter accelerated it towards a close encounter with the planet Saturn. Saturn's gravity will propel it on to Uranus. And in this game of cosmic billiards after Uranus, it will plunge on past Neptune, leaving the solar system and becoming an interstellar spacecraft, destined to wander forever in the great ocean between the stars. And if Voyager should, sometime in its distant future, encounter beings from some other civilization in space. It bears a message, a phonograph record, golden, delicate, with instructions for use. And on this record are a sampling of pictures, sounds, greetings, and an hour and a half of exquisite music, the Earth's greatest hits, a gift across the cosmic ocean from one island of civilization to another. The record bears, in English, uh, an additional little handwritten greeting. It says, to the makers of music, all worlds, all times.